metal roof repair. Repairing the worst rusted metal roof ever. Ithaca, Ithaca, New York. And the major issue is this transition between where this end and where this drippage is. And it's a huge problem. So I'm gonna show you how we remove this. And then I'm gonna show you later in the video how we seal this. And after I sealed it, I'm gonna show you at the end, towards the end of the video, how I protect the sealant from ultraviolet. So watch this video and learn something. But you can see this is the silicon and tar and everything on it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Look how wet it is underneath it. You can see it's wet. So somehow water gets in here. So we gotta take all this off. You cannot go over old tar and silicon. It's, it's not gonna work. You gotta remove it. You can see it's all rusted. So that's how bad the leak is here and they cannot tell. All right, so now the people originally came to repair this roof. They did a very good job, but they used tar. Let me show you. You see the tar here? Let me get the tar off. Tar with, with mesh. You see the mesh? There's the mesh, fiber mesh. Okay, so that's what they used. You see that? That's the mesh, okay? So they put mesh and tar over from there to there. Regardless of how well they did it, the tar did not last. Look at the rust around here. The reason is the silicon caulking around that screw. You see the rust here? The silicon caulking. And these people who did the tar also went over paint here. And so some places the paint it peels, but you can see it hold. It held up pretty good at some places. But then somebody came and did some silicon because the tar cracked. So let me show you where the tar. Look at the tar here. See, see here. The tar starts bubbling, cracking, and eventually. Look here. Look, it's wet underneath the tar. You could not tell it's leaking, but it's wet. And see the water? My hand is actually wet. My finger. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay. So, we are, all this roof has to be done, everything, to this side. All that's the one step. You get the bulk, the bulk of the stuff removed. Then I'm, let me show you how the next step is. So the next step, I want to remove the paint and everything. Yeah. All right. So. Here's my idea. This surface is clean, and this surface is clean, and I'm gonna put my transition right over this completely. But I'm doing it to a fresh metal, not to paint, the, the blue paint, caulking and tar. You have to clean this very well. That is the first step is preparation. The next step after I've prepared the entire roof is to make the transition. And what we use is Turbo Poly Seal. Excellent, excellent product. It adheres to metal and very, very well. And so you can see all the rusted spots here. Look at the rust here, rust and rust, and it's rusted through. I want to make this transition now. That's the next step. That's not the final step. I'll show you when we finish what's the final step but 
the tra first of all, I don't like this sharp edge here. See the sharp edge? I want to cover this gap to avoid a sharp edge there. So I'm going to put some, this is just a roof cement. There's nothing special as tar or roof cement or flashing cement or whatever you want to call it. And I fill up that gap so there's no void behind the, the, the my transition. That's all I'm doing. I'm doing a slight, you can see that the, uh, uh, I fill up the gap there. See there? See, like that? Okay, that's number one. Then I paint turbo poly seal. I put, I have a three inch brush here. All right, and I cover this. And I cover, I'm gonna just show you how to do this. This is very easy, but it works super, super nice. All right, this is a crucial step, by the way. Everything has to be clean, well prepared. And then um, I'm gonna do it up to here so you can see how it's done, okay? So take this, I put the fleece, make sure the fleece go snug against the, the roof, okay? You can see now that caulking tar, this roof cement un underneath it, is filling up that, that void there, that gap. Then, when you come to the risers, you, you have to line the fleece in here. So I'm gonna cut right to this corner of the riser, and this corner of the riser. See this corner? All right, and then I'm gonna cut to the top corner of the riser, right there, and right there. This is nice. Now, I fold this in there, add a bit of turbo on top of the fleece, where the other one will lie over. See that? Put it right in there, very nice, and then I put some turbo over this area, where this one will sit, see? See that, beautiful, just like that. See how you do it? And then you do your final coating over this. All right, now that's not the final step. This is the la almost to the final step. The next step I'll show you as soon as I got this done, I'll show you the, my next step, and that will be tomorrow. Oh, I didn't cut the, look at that. So I gotta cut the bottom, and then put some dab, more turbo, and look at it, beautiful. You close the gap there, see? And then you cover this. One more thing I wanna show you, and this is tedious, but a, f a quick fix is not going to work. You cannot do that. So, I'm just showing you the best way how to, to make a transition wherever you need a transition between metal pieces or... All right, now I'm going to show you something else. I'm making a about two inches on this drippage. That's good enough. But look at this big rust hole. So what I do is I cover this from there. Oh, there's more rust holes there. You see that corner there? So I'm just gonna put the fleece all over, all the way to that side. And you, you save a roof. You can save any roof if you just put a little bit of time into it. So I'm gonna cover that just like that. And I paint my turbo poly seal over that. Make sure you cover the entire fleece and not leave any uncovered because the UVs will will break the, the, the polyester fleece all the way. So that's it. Now, I want to show you now what after this cures, I'll wait. You can wait an hour, but you can wait 24 hours. So tomorrow when I'm done with all this transition, I'm going to show you the final step. And that will, that will make your roof completely seal-proof, leak-proof, okay? All right, so this is the final step. This is super important if you want to make this transition last. 
Now, you, as we went through, we went cleaning, took off everything, grind it, filled it up, and then we did the transition. This is yesterday. Look how nice it is, smooth, and it sticks, and there's no ways water can get in. But to make this last, you, you should do this, and that is silver coating, okay? So look at the silver coating. I want to show you something. You gotta mix this. That's the aluminum sitting at the bottom. You cannot just go and paint it like that. So it takes a while. If you can have a screw gun, you can mix it. Um, but I don't have one now. So it takes a while to mix this, to get the aluminum to mix with the asphalt. But let me tell you the principle. It is important to, to put this on because the UVs will eventually beat on this and eat, and, and this will deteriorate if you don't have a silver coat protection. Silver coat protection so make just to show you after three years what turbo poly seal looks like. We applied this around this vent pipe, metal to rubber roof, and look how well it's lasted. Now you can see the oxidation on that. You see that? So this will last six, eight, or ten years, depends on the sun. But it's best to coat it with silver coat protection. It will last forever. Make, Almost this. guaranteed to last forever. So it's aluminum asphalt. That's what it is. It take a while to mix. About five minutes. I've been mixing this, but you can see now. It gets thicker, and aluminum is getting mixed in. And this is pretty good now. I think that's will work. Getting messy. But um, what you do now, this is the final step. And uh, you take this, and look at that. This will protect it against the ultraviolet, the sun. And all you do is, you roll it on, and you're done. That is an important step, is to make this last. If you don't, the heat and the ultraviolet will destroy everything. All right? Very, very important. Silver coating, and that's a final step, and thank you for watching. See you next time.